Good morning and welcome to day eight on the Arizona Trail. <clears throat> it's a beautiful morning. I'm just not getting started that early. I don't see the point because I don't have to do big days if I don't want to. Um, <clears throat> had a good night, slept well. I didn't really wake up. I, I woke up about 5.30, fairly chilled, so I just covered up with my puffy coat. Um, it's a beautiful morning, no wind. Again, I don't really know what the goal is today. At least 13. Always needs to be 13, if possible. I'm getting ready to eat my breakfast bar, my nature's bakery raspberry flavored breakfast bar. Kind of looking forward to that. They're pretty good. And, uh, we'll just keep on trucking. Okay. Have a good day. I'm going to push some miles. And we'll see you in just a little bit. Check this out. It's right across the trail. Okay, let's see if we can get through this. I'm sure we can. That's good. Oh. Huh. Made it. Here's the back side of it, I'll show you. Pretty cool. This is probably one of the most peaceful and beautiful mornings on the trail. Don't get me wrong, it's warm. It's warming up quickly, but uh, it's just so nice. Big old canyon down there. And it's incredible. I had my breakfast, feeling pretty good. On the other side of this canyon, I think I can see the trail. Runs along there. Right there. Keeps going. Around that mountain.
I made it about 2.6 miles and stopped at this little uh, this little stream, filtered some water. So I'm gonna chug this 700 milliliters, fill it back up, put my Pedialyte in it, <laughs> and um, keep on pushing. I still got four liters, but I figured I was here. I had to had to go number two. So I did that. I feel much better. Can't be bashful out here, folks. You gotta do what you gotta do. I am gonna put sunscreen on here. And then push on. It's been a good day so far. Mostly level ground. A little downhill, a little bit of a climb, but it's been pretty good. Hmm. I'm going to eat a complete cookie. It's over there by my pack. Over there. Alright. See you in a bit. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. That wasn't a bad road walk. Looks like the trail turns back into a trail. Let's see. I believe this is it. Yep. Okay. Cool little choya cactus, but I don't know. It's got some black stuff on it. I don't know. I don't know if it's a fungus or, or what. Kind of interesting. Okay, which is came out onto this road and there's only about four possible ways it could go but my money is on that gate over there well it has an Arizona trail sticker on it so Exposed out there. All right. Onward. So I walked right through that gate and I decided to just sit down. And I know I'm hearing two people behind me on the trail, but I don't see anyone yet. First I was hallucinating. Now I'm hearing things. I just had to take the weight off my shoulders and hips before I took out across this open stretch here. About eight miles in, I think. Wish I was further. Okay, see you in a bit for lunch. Okay, so I, I was not hearing things after all. I sat there a little bit longer and uh, got up and then I was about to a gate and I heard someone behind me and a young lady on a, a mountain bike came up and uh, chatted for a few seconds and then her husband came up behind her and they are from North Carolina and I believe they're doing the entire trail on their mountain bikes. They're going to be working in... in um, Denver, I believe, this summer, or Colorado, they said. So, chatted for a second, and uh, they kept on going, and I'm going to do the same. Probably won't see them again, unless we get on some really steep 
uphills. That'll slow them down for sure. A big old pipe out here. I don't know, about 24 inch pipe maybe? 12? I don't know. Probably 24. It's hard to say it's buried. It's probably part of the water supply for the old mining that went on here way back when. <clears throat> Boy, that was, you know, that was hard work laying that pipe. Ooh, goodness. I made it to Fish Creek or Spring or whatever it is. Got my shoes off. I can't find my spoon. So I'm just going to eat a half a meal to go bar and uh, probably both of these Bavarian meats snack sticks. That'll be good. Maybe a tortilla. But tune is out because I kind of need my spoon for that. Okay, so I stopped here at Fish Creek for lunch. <clears throat> it just seems like every time I sit down, I get in the ants. <sighs> so I looked at the gut hooks, eight tenths of a mile up, there's a, it's called Kentucky Camp. Apparently it was kind of the hub of the gold mining activity in the late 19th and early 20th century. And there's still some buildings there. I think you can rent one for like $75 a night, but it's got a water spigot and you can dump your trash and stuff like that. So. Uh, let's trudge on up there and see what it's all about. I'm not going to stay there. I need to get a little further down the road. That's only going to put me at 10 miles, which I'm not terribly happy with. I just don't, it's just been one of those days. So, all right, let's go see what Kentucky can't all about. <laughs> all right. Made it to Kentucky camp. Looks like the bikers that I met earlier are here. So let's walk up and see what this is all about. Huh. Check this out. Kind of a little museum. <clears throat> a cool little place to relax. Just out in the middle of nowhere, they've kind of restored it, so let's sign this trail register. Oh. Walk through this place. I don't know if you can camp here or sleep here. I don't think I want to sleep in here by myself at night. It'd be kind of spooky. Yeah, yeah, no way am I spending the night in here. But it does have a space here. Hmm. Yeah. I think that doll would come alive at night. Oh. Whoa. Huh. Microwave coffee maker. Let's see what else. It's got power. Some gin in there. Huh. Maybe that's something. It's cold. Well, wish I didn't have to make so many miles. I might go use the outhouse. Look at that here. I 
about this was a happening place once upon a time. There you go. I'm gonna fill it some water. Oh yeah. Do that. I think I'm gonna go get my toilet paper and use that thing. Oh, well maybe it's got some. Well, I can keep mine. But I would be missing my baby wipes. Huh. Let's just see. Restroom. Make sure it was in there. Little pit toilet. Okay. Well, no toilet paper, so I'll be back. Cool place. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Just filtering a little bit of water. Use the bathroom. Got power. Pretty cool. I wasn't so early in the day. I might think about camping nearby. Not sleeping in there. Too spooky. Okay, just left the Kentucky camp. Pretty cool little area. Place to hang out. Water spigots everywhere. Pit toilet. And uh, I'm gonna try to get a few more miles in. Got a visit with, uh, I believe, Chris and Serena. The mountain bikers I saw earlier today. They're gonna hang out a little bit longer and then and then decide if they want to spend the night with a creepy doll or not. <laughs> I don't. Okay. There's always a hill. And another. really nothing to report I left Kentucky camp I'm probably a mile and a half two miles further up from that it's just road walk up big hill down big hill <laughs> I'm feeling okay back's a little sore the legs are starting to get fatigued as they always do this time of day it's about 3 30 I'm just gonna keep pushing on I think there's another big climb. I'd like to get to the top of that. And then on the descent, I'll start looking for a place to camp. So we'll just keep on stepping, right? Keep on keeping on. Okay. little sugar rush to get me up this hill I think it's only four tenths of a mile and that's downhill cruising looks like so I hope when I get to the top I can cruise for another hour look for a camp spot along the way y'all good with that thanks Okay, solid plan. Okay. I made it to camp. I think it was about 15.3 miles today. I'm just worn out, so I'm going to stop. It's a good spot. The note said the sun exposure gets uh, a lot worse from here on down towards Tucson, so I have to really lather up on the old sunscreen, but I'm going to get camp set up here and get out of these wet clothes because I'm sweating so much. 
get changed and just relax and I'll give you the day's update. Not too much, it was another day of long road walks, so hopefully that'll change, but it's all part of the trail, so gotta take the good with the bad. Good evening. Welcome to my tent. <laughs> you guys have been in here before, haven't you? Anyway, it was a 15.3 mile day. It was a good day. It was hot. But, ugh. but, um, just kept pushing on. That Kentucky camp was pretty cool. That uh, old uh, gold mining kind of camp. They restored some of the buildings, obviously. It's a good place to hang out, but it just was too early in the day to, to sleep around there. So I pushed on a little further. I still haven't seen anyone other than the bikers today. Chris and Geneva, I believe their name was. So anyway, it was a good day. Mm. Uh, hopefully I'll have another good day tomorrow. And we'll just keep pushing towards... <coughs> Nah, uh, excuse me. We'll keep pushing towards Vail. Towards I-10 coming east out of Tucson. And just go from there. So, hope you all had a good day. Have a good night. I'm going to get cleaned up, get tucked in here, start editing, editing some video. Um, Alright, good night. See you in the morning.